On the first day of first grade, we were both held in from recess, cause we were both writing profanity on our desk. Hey, we're Red and Link, and we're doing the People's Celebrity, Celebrity Home Scavenger Hunt. Oh. This is not our home, well it is, it's, it a, is. it's a creative home. We live in separate homes, but we have a home that we that, share, that well. we share, that we come to and for creative purpose. Be creative at Red and Link People Celebrity Home Makeover <laughs> Home Edition. <laughs> Scene one, take one. Spontaneously, but in unison, seeing the story of how you first met. Ha! <laughs> On the first day of first grade, we were both held in from recess, cause we were both writing profanity on our desk. I wrote, I wrote, it gets beeped out. I wrote, I wrote, our punishment was coloring unicorns. And that's when we became best friends. But, but equally as important, we never deface public property again. So if you got a kid who's writing obscene graffiti, give him a picture of a mythical beast and he will cease to write profanity. Don't write profanity, just color a mythical beast. That yeah, was impromptu. Gonna... In unison, count down from three if you could time travel back to any year. What year would you go to? Oh gosh, this involves knowledge of history. Oh, okay, what I got, I got, I got, I got one. Hey, don't, don't say it out loud. Okay, okay, okay. All right, I'm ready. I've already got my answer, though. Okay. Three, two, two one. 1994. Whoa! We're two years apart. We barely missed each other. Okay, so you say four. Yeah, I would go back to um, when I was dating Jana. And okay. uh, I was too scared to kiss her. So she dumped me and just said that we were better off as friends. And then she became a cheerleader for the Carolina Cobras. Yeah, she did. Um, 96, year we graduated high school and the year we started college. Whole world's ahead of you. Best, you know, peak of your life is right around the corner. I'd like to go back and do it again. Really? Yeah. Exactly the same way. <laughs> <laughs> no regrets. Yeah. For him. You both have been friends for a few decades, who's, but who's counting? What's the best and worst habit that each other has? Do an impression of each other's worst habits. Let's start, you know what, let's start in a good place and then in a bad place. Best habits. Best habit? Was that even part of the question? Yeah, it was best and worst habits. Oh, good. I think that you're really good at, um, if there's something on somebody's face, you're not the you're not a guy who lets that happen. Let lets that you know just just, just sit there. You'll you'll tell you'll tell a friend if there's something on his face. Or like lick my thumb. No, and you don't. No, not that. That's okay. Bad, that's a bad just habit. Just kind of get that's it off. Bad, that's a bad habit. Just pointing it out. That's that, I appreciate that. Hey, yeah, just something on your face. Yeah. Seriously, been there this whole time. <laughs> <laughs> it's like right here. I don't know if it's like dead skin or a booger, but yeah, it's been there the whole time. Why don't you say something about it? What habit do I appreciate about you? <laughs> you're, you're not a habit kind of a guy. Rhett's worst habit? Oh, you're moving right to that. I would love to do an impersonation of this. Oh, oh, let me let me tell you about that because I know everything about that. Uh, you know, it's uh, That's actually pretty, I know about this. Pretty helpful. Thing. I also know about this. You know what else I know about? Everything. <laughs> Where do you learn most of your information? Uh, you, but I'm mean, <laughs> uh, I'm gonna do my impersonation of your worst habit. So you can hear me chew when I chew. Oh, we gotta see. Okay. This just in, it seems that we have a video from Josh. Hey, Rhett and Link, it's your trusty mythical chef here, and I'm gonna throw a little culinary curveball your way. 
Both of you write down what the worst dish I've ever made you eat on the show is, reveal your answers to each other simultaneously, and if they don't match up, you two gotta eat both of those dishes on the Mythical Kitchen Instagram. Good luck. Oh gosh. Ah, oh, shoot. Well, he works for us. Why, why, why is he all of a sudden dictating what we have to eat? Well, I've got an answer. I think he made this. Please don't miss this link, because I really don't want to eat what I wrote down ever again. Okay, three, two, one. Beef bile, bile cheesecake! cheesecake. Yes! <laughs> oh! Beef bile cheesecake is, the I think, the worst thing we've ever put in our mouths on the show, and I'm pretty sure Josh made it. I think he did. It was immediately overwhelming, and my entire body, entire di digestive system rejected it right from the beginning. <laughs> 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 All right, Josh, we got it right. Beef bile cheesecake. I think that means you, you have to eat it. it. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Follow up question What is the best dish you've ever eaten on the show? And also, what's your favorite thing about me personally? Okay, best thing we've ever eaten on the we show. We have had not a lot of good things since, uh, he, since he showed up. I'm trying to. The do donut glazed oh, fried chicken. Yeah, okay, yeah. So it's kind of like what you would have with chicken and waffles, sweet and savory together. But, but it's, it's just all, all on the chicken. That's it. And, and favorite thing about Josh? Favorite thing about Josh? The fact that he is capable of making donut glazed fried chicken. <laughs> no. Okay, no. I, th I think he, he applies his passion to the stupidest things, which makes him a perfect fit at Mythical. And he can make a pork blood taco taste really good. Or, or, or well, not good, but not vomit inducing. What's the most underrated video that you've created? I, I've got an answer for that. Okay. We thought that we had such an incredible idea when we came up with the idea to sing Lionel Richie's oh. All Night Long, literally all night, night long, long. Yeah. from sunset to sunrise with a karaoke machine that we would take all around the Los Angeles area literally never stopping singing the song. And we did it. It was 11 hours? Yeah. You guys have had a lot of haircuts and beard cuts over the years. Draw the other person's most iconic hairstyle and look. <laughs> okay. Uh, draw. Draw. Uh, we, have, we, have, we have crayons. Oh. We have a folder. I could rip in half. Right? Yeah, let's rip that folder in half. <sighs> okay, and I'm not taking, you're not really going in for details here, are you? Well, I, I don't know if you know this, but in fifth grade, I won the uh, anti-drug poster contest. As you can see, there is a there's a man here that is holding all types of fun things to do, and then I'm here. It says there are lots of fun things to do instead of drugs. <laughs> Where'd you get this idea from, Link? My mom helped me come up with this idea by giving me a brochure. In the brochure was this picture. <laughs> <laughs> she basically encouraged me to plagiarize. Okay, all right, all right, who's gonna go first? Most iconic hairstyle. You can go first. This is Rhett with the chin strap. Yep, I had one of those. In in uh, college, he was, he was working the chin strap and the earrings. Yeah, earring in each ear. It created the strap. illusion of a jawline. Right. Okay. Uh, Link used to have some wings that kind of came out on his hair. I took some uh, creative liberties to emphasize that my, I never had that hairstyle. Well, no. You didn't understand the assignment. That hairstyle has never existed. Well, no. I think you didn't really understand. There was a couple of times you really let it go. And almost, it almost became a little mullety. Yeah, that's yeah. true. All right, Rhett, rapid fire questions given to me to ask you. Rhett, set a 60 second timer on your phone. You have to answer all of these questions as quickly as possible. Three, two, one. What's the oldest thing in your wallet? Uh, my uh, credit card, probably. Like one that's been around for four years. Okay. <laughs> Uh, what's a skill you've perfected during quarantine? Uh, uh, squat, man, I'm squatting. 
Like squatting? I'm squatting. How hard is it to squat? Well, I didn't. I, I, I had never really done it. You want to see me squat? No. Uh, yeah. Fly or breathe underwater? Fly. Do you think you can pull off overalls? No. Well, I could take them off, and I would if I had them on, but that's because I can't pull them off. <laughs> so yes and no. Who's Who looks better in overalls? Between me and you? Yeah. Ugh. I'll give you that one. I'll take it. What's the last show that you binged? Uh, Did I read that right? Lovecraft Country. Denim or khaki overalls? What? Oh, uh, oh you already done? Oh crap, why we gotta go back to overalls? Are you gonna wear them? Khaki. Stop that! I feel like that brought us even closer than we already were. <laughs> I'm not crying, I just almost choked on one of those beans you fed me at the top of this thing. Uh, yeah, that was um, my plan. But, but yeah, I mean, it was a bit emotional. Oh, you're still watching this? Well, that indicates to me that you can tolerate us. So I'd like to invite you to continue to tolerate us. There's a lot to watch on the internet, more than you've ever had time for. Good Mythical Morning, five days a week. And we also have a podcast called Ear Biscuits. That's also available on YouTube mm -hmm. and, you know, where podcasts are available.